I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please remain standing for a moment here. Moment of silence and reflection, please. Thank you. Roll call, Jared, please. Mr. Bekowski. Here. Mr. Bonarotti. Mr. DeMarco. Here. Ms. Filiaggi. Here. Mr. Fatoulis. Here. Mr. Grisbeck. Here. Ms. Hallam. Here. Mr. Klein. Here. Mr. Macy. Ms. Nakaretti Chapkis. Here. Here. Mr. Palmieri. Here. Mr. Palmasina. Here. Ms. Prizio. Mr. Walton. Here. President Katina. As of right now, we have 11 members present. Thank you. Well, yeah. Proclamation of certificates 12988 24. A proclamation recognizing April 2024 as Fair Housing Month in Allegheny County, sponsored by Councilmember Walton. Whereas the 1968 Fair Housing Act guarantees the right of all Americans, regardless of race, color, national origin, religion, familial status, or disability, to live in the neighborhoods of their choice and is one of the most important components of our national civil rights policy. And whereas Allegheny County is expanded to protect the classes to additionally include ancestry or place of birth, gender identity or expression, sexual orientation, marital status, age, use of guide or a support animal because of blindness or because the user is a handler or a trainer or support of guide animals or deafness or physical disability of any individual or independent contractor or because of the disability of an individual with whom the person is known to have an association. And whereas, although this non-discriminatory discrimination policy is the law of the land, we must recognize that all proper enforcement requires the continued cooperation of all levels of government the real estate and the home building industries and private citizens and whereas throughout Allegheny County the spirit of collaboration is evident through the support of our federal, state and local governments and with the support of countless community and nonprofit organizations and whereas this county dedicates itself to promoting equal housing opportunity as an essential part of its larger mission of endorsing justice in all areas of life for all citizens. Allegheny County ensures its communities are open to all people and citizens may exercise freedom to choose where they live and whereas the month of April is set aside to acknowledge the 56th anniversary of the Fair Housing Act and the work of the United States Department of Housing and Urban Development, the Human Relations Commission of Allegheny County, the Pittsburgh Commission on Human Relations and the Fair Housing Partnership of Greater Pittsburgh, which ensures the protection of all fair housing rights. Now therefore be resolved that I, Allegheny County Council Member DeWitt Walton, proclaim April 20, 24 as Fair Housing Month in Allegheny County. And further, I recognize that everyone shares in the future of this great nation and are grateful that laws like the Fair Housing Act remind citizens to take note uh, uh, to not take these, grant, these freedoms for granted. In witness thereof, I have hereunto caused the seal of the County of Allegheny County to be affixed to this ninth day of August, ninth day of April, 2024. Um, I'm wishing some of Jim. We have Jim from the Department of Economic Development. Uh, any comments? No, I just want to thank council again for passing this proclamation. We do this every year. We do this every year and it's much appreciated. Uh, we include this with our annual action plan that we submit to HUD for our community development block grant funding. And it's really important to us that we get this. So thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Jim. Picture. I guess, although it's not uh, nothing. Open or close? Open or close? Open it up. 
I framed it. You guys want to scoot this way a little bit? There you go. All right. Okay, everybody ready? One, two, three. One more. One, two, three. Gotcha. Congratulations. Thank you all very much. Good, good, good work. Thank you. Congratulations. 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 Yeah. Doing a whole Thank you, thank you. Thank you. 12989-24. A proclamation recognizing Teresa Marguerite Valicente upon the occasion of her retirement from the Allegheny County Treasurer's Office after 48 years, sponsored by Councilmember Nakaretti Chapkis and all other members of council. Ooh, I'm reading this on behalf of uh, Councillor Nakarati Chapas, who cannot be here tonight. Whereas work ethic is important because unlike intelligent, athleticism, charisma, and other natural attributes, it's by choice. This quote by Mike Rowe epitomizes the dedication, commitment, and effort of Teresa Marguerite Valicente during her years of service with Allegheny County. And whereas Terry is retired from the Allegheny County Treasurer's Office on December 15th, 2023, after 48 years of service, where she worked under five treasurers, and whereas in 1976, Terry joined the Treasurer's Office as a real estate tax clerk and cashier, this is when everything was manually logged into massive books and other processing items were, over, were overly cumbersome. And whereas, as procedures changed, Terry was tasked with managing the installment lien department as technology and policies also changed. She was asked to co-manage the real estate tax department in 2004 while continuing to oversee the county's installment payments and tax liens. And whereas since 2004, Terry has helped implement multiple new operating systems, assisted with the implementation of these new procedures and trained members of her team, Terry has excelled in training. She always made sure her colleagues were not on their own until they had extensive knowledge. Beyond real estate taxes, her knowledge includes bankruptcies, sheriff sales, court orders, and acting as the Jordan Tax Service liaison. And whereas in retirement, Terry is will continue to be busy as she is a very talented seamstress and does everything from sewing buttons to altering wedding gowns. She's also very talented at crocheting everything from dolls to baby blankets to dish towels. Terry also enjoys building jigsaw puzzles and watching her favorite TV shows while being cuddled up with her two kittens, Chloe and Sienna. These hobbies will definitely keep her busy in retirement. Now, therefore, be it resolved that we, Allegheny County Council Member, <laughs> member Michelle Nacaretti Chapkis, and all members of council and the county treasurer, do hereby acknowledge and congratulate Teresa Marguerite Valicente upon the occasion of her retirement from Allegheny County Treasurer's Office after 48 years and wish her many years of health and happiness. In witness hereof, I have signed this seal. That's it. Thank, thank you. you. you want to thank you? I want to thank Erica very much for this proclamation and county council and my fellow Acknowledge employees um, and oh, I forgot Acknowledge my brother, sister, my cousin and my family. So I want to thank everybody. It's been, uh, it was a lot of good years, really was. Thank you. There you go.
One, two, three. Gotcha. Before proceeding, please let the record reflect that Ms. Prizio is now present. And the remaining proclamations will be read into the record. 12990-24, proclamation recognizing Vietnam War Veterans Day in Allegheny County, sponsored by Councilmember DeMarco. 12991-24, a proclamation declaring April 12th, 2024 to be 412 Thrive Day in Allegheny County, sponsored by Councilmember DeMarco and all other members of council. 12992-24, a proclamation proclaiming April 7th through 13th, 2024 is National Library Week in Allegheny County, sponsored by Councilmember DeMarco. 12993-24, proclamation recognizing and congratulating Alec Matthew Richards on achieving the rank of Eagle Scout, sponsored by Councilmember Katina. 12994-24, proclamation recognizing and congratulating Nathan Robert Galan on achieving the rank of Eagle Scout, sponsored by Councilmember Katina. 12995-24, proclamation recognizing and congratulating Pranav Kunjupari on achieving the rank of Eagle Scout, oh, sponsored boy. by oh, Councilmember Katina. And 12996-24, a proclamation recognizing and congratulating John Paul all renowned on achieving the rank of Eagle Scout, sponsored by Councilmember Grisbeck. Chair, on the uh, the thing with the library, can you include all the on the all the council on that one, please? Yes, please. Thank you. Okay. Next, we have public comment on, on agenda items. We have five individuals signed up. The first of whom is Tom Pike. Tom here. Next up would be Mackenzie McFarland. Mackenzie here, no. Next up would be Juan Lingao. He's here. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, my name is Juan Lingo, and I'm a parent, um, resident of Homewood. And today I stand before you to advocate to uh, the complete streets bill. So uh, especially my message directed to Council Member Walton, since I'm his uh, constituent. And uh, well, this is an opportunity, like supporting this bill, support, uh, opportunity for you to uh, further your um, for further your legacy in community development. And um, yeah, so it's especially directed to you. So I commute my bike every day. And I understand the challenges that, uh, well, people like me, the, the commuters face every day. Uh, my journey takes me to the heart of Homewood, and I navigate between um, parked cars and traffic, and even I use the uh, sidewalks in order to uh, improve my safety. So there's a lot of room for improvement. And as me, there's a lot of commuters that will have this risk every day. And, and that will, Otherwise, uh, there are other people that would choose to commute by bike or through other means if it was safer for them. So uh, there are studies uh, that show that comprehensive biking infrastructure, like the one that this bill is trying to introduce, uh, have benefits in uh, public health, in safer streets, and uh, thriving local businesses, and increasing the property values. And also, the uh, cost benefit for these is very positive, uh, even in the short term. Uh, so I, I think that it's uh, by opting th with this plan, we um, take a very bold step towards a greener future and also demonstrate the commitment that we have for the well-being of all the citizens. So uh, especially Council Member Walton, by passing this bill, uh, we'll, you will champion not only my cause, but all the other people that will also benefit from it. And uh, this program is, is, well, it's already you, and I urge the Council to uh, be, please prioritize it, even as uh, it is uh, being amended. Um, if it's as it is right now, if it's going to be amended, just prioritize it and make sure that um, whenever it's time to enact it, support it. Thank you. Thank you. Next up is Brendan Wissinger. And last on agenda is Thomas Allen. He's here. Jacobs. Yeah. Um, hi, my name is Thomas Allen. Um, I'm a resident of Lawrenceville and Councilmember Bonnerati's district. I'm also here to speak in favor of the complete streets bill. Um, I think it's going to be really important and something that we should prioritize. Um, when I first heard that Allegheny County was considering a complete streets bill, 
I thought of a time several months ago when I, I tried to um, <laughs> um, travel by bike from Lawrenceville to visit family near McCandless, um, <laughs> which is, yeah, I mean, like people are allowed, it's like basically impossible. Um, I ended up having to like walk my bike for like long portions of McKnight Road and it was just overall a miserable experience. Um, and it really emphasized to me um, the point that the lack of connection between places that have um, good or like pretty good infrastructure for safe biking um, or walking or just like even effective and, and reliable transit. Um, that lack of connection between those places locks people into car dependency because you literally have to take a trip in a car to get to so many places in the county from other places. Um, and locking people into car dependency I mean, and all the expense that comes with that. Um, so I do think that this is a really important bill. I think um, we should definitely prioritize it. Uh, thank you. Yes, um, may I have a point of privilege, please? Um, I'd like to um, invite the Girl Scouts just to come to take a picture with us prior to our um, agenda. Is that okay? All right. Maybe um, Suzanne, you could come down. Motion to approve the minutes of the February 20th, 2024 regular meeting of council. Okay, is that one? So moved. Second. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Passes. Thank you. Which one is she growing the green? I think so. Two. One two nine nine eight dash two four. That's a motion to approve the minutes of the March fifth, twenty twenty four regular meeting of council. Motion. So moved. Second. Motion and second. To, thank you. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Thank you. One five two nine eight three dash two four. Approving the appointment of Dora Walmsley to the Redevelopment Authority of Allegheny County for a term effective through April twenty fourth, twenty twenty nine, sponsored by the Chief Executive. Now go to commi uh, the committee on appointment review. One two nine eight four dash two four. Approving the appointment of Diamante Walker to the Allegheny County Industrial Development Authority, the Allegheny County Hospital Development Authority, the Allegheny County Higher Education Building Authority, and the Allegheny County Residential Finance Authority for a term effective through April 9th, 2029. Also approving the appointment of Diamante Walker to the Authority for Improvements in Municipalities for a term effective through April 9th, 2029. Sponsored by the Chief Executive. We'll refer that to the Committee on Appointment Review. 12985-24. Approving the appointment of Kyle Chintalopoli to the Allegheny County Industrial Development Authority, the Allegheny County Hospital Development Authority, the Allegheny County Higher Education Building Authority, and the Allegheny County Residential Finance Authority for a term effective through December 31st, 2028. Also approving the appointment of Kyle Chintalopoli to the Authority for Improvements in Municipalities for a term effective through December 31st, 2028, sponsored by the Chief Executive. Now we go to Committee on Appointment Review. 12986-24. Approving the reappointment of Michael A. Gable to the Professional Services Review Committee for a term effective through December 31st, 2028, sponsored by the Chief Executive. I also go to the Committee on Appointment Review. 
12987-24. Approving the reappointment of Jennifer M. Liptak to the Retirement Board of Allegheny County for term effective through December 31st, 2028, sponsored by the Chief Executive. That will also go to Committee on Appointment Review. Unfinished business. 12952-24. That's an ordinance of the County of Allegheny, Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, providing for the development of a complete streets plan by the Department of Economic Development in cooperation with the Department of Public Works no later than December 31st, 2024, sponsored by Council Members Nacaretti, Chapkis, and Grisbeck. It's my understanding that the prime sponsor uh, wants to be referred back to committee, so I'll send this back to the Economic Development and Job Creation. 12979-24. A resolution of the Council of the County of Allegheny regarding the tax increment financing plan presented by the Wilkins Area Industrial Development Authority, authorizing participation in the Waterfront Apartments Tax Increment Financing District, and authorizing related agreements sponsored by the Chief Executive. Mr. Bukowski? The Committee on Economic Development and Job Creation met on March 26th and affirmatively recommended this to Council. I make that motion. Second. Second. Okay. Motion. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Okay. We have a roll call. Roll call vote, please. On the motion to approve, Mr. Petkowski. Yes. Mr. Bonarotti. Mr. Demarco. Yes. Ms. Filiaggi. Yes. Mr. Fatulis. Yes. Mr. Grisbeck. Yes. Ms. Hallam. Yes. Mr. Klein. Yes. Mr. Macy. Ms. Nacaretti Chapkis. Yes. Mr. Paul Mary. Yes. Mr. Palmasina? Yes. Ms. Prizio? Yes. Mr. Walton? Yes. President Katina? We have 12 ayes, no no's, and two absent. The bill, pass, uh, bill passes. Thank you. Li liaison reports. Anyone have a liaison report? Mr. Chairman? Chairman. Thank you. Yes. Uh, in regards to the elections, uh, 110,000 plus ballots have already gone out in the mail to folks who previously requested their mail and absentee ballots. And starting this next weekend, and then the following weekend, the six ballot return sites are gonna be open and operational in Allegheny County. Those ballot return sites, you're able to return your ballots between the hours of nine to five on Saturdays and 11 to, is it 11 to seven or 10 to six on Sunday? But you could find out all this information by going to the website at Allegheny County, one word, dot US, and then selecting the elections button, and you could find all that information then. There's also a Board of Elections meeting coming up this next Monday, the 15th, at 3 p.m. And my colleague, Ms. Hallam, has indicated that it is 11 to 7 on Sundays. So 9 to 5 on Saturdays, 11 to 7 on Sundays. They will be manned by elections offices employees and you're able to go and return your mail or absentee ballot there. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You're welcome. Anyone else? Okay, we'll move on. New, <coughs> new business ordinances and resolutions, 12999-24. One, <laughs> a resolution of the County of Allegheny amending the Grants and Special Accounts Budget for 2024, submission number 02-24, sponsored by the Chief Executive. That'll go to the Committee on Budget and Finance. 13000-24. A resolution of the County of Council of Allegheny County involving <coughs> the Mount Nebo Point Tax Increment Financing District and authorizing related actions sponsored by the Chief Executive. That also go to the Committee on Economic Development and Job Creation. New business motions. We have none. Notification of contracts. 3001-24. A communication summarizing approved executive actions for the month of March 2024. Motion to receive and file. We have a motion? I make a motion. Okay, and we second? Second, second. Okay, thank you. Okay. All, all those in favor? Aye. 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 And opposed? No vote. That passes, thank you. And now we're into public comment on general items. We have a number. First up is Ivy Ulanowitz. Hello and good evening. My name is Ivy Ulanowitz. I live in Allison Park and I am here to represent the Girl Scout Troop 28008. I came here today to bring attention to the plastic bag ban. 
Our troop and I are working on the Girl Scout Brief Journey, which has led us to research and learn more about banning single-use plastics. It is incredibly hard for all of us to hear that the U.S. throws an estimated 100 billion plastic bags annually. Many of the youth are concerned for the world that we will one day inherit. With your help, we hope to change our prospects one small step at a time. We also hope to see the plastic bag ban carried through. Even though this may seem to be small, it has a big impact on our environment and consequently our lives. Adopting a ban on single-use plastic bags can be expected to eliminate more than 300 single-use plastic bags per person per year on average. Plastic bags take over 500 years to decompose, so this would reduce waste management costs. A bag ban would also promote a circular economy which is needed for green future. If you want to see the world as a changed place and for the better, a ban on our community can start the project. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. They're both prepared to you guys. Thank you so much. Uh-oh. Thank you for coming. Uh-oh. We knock that over all the time. That's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Next up is Laura Perkins. Todd Rosenfeld. Nathan Ragunathan. No. Jean Corey. Eliana Sharbaji. Ali Assad. Aya Suzuni. Hello, everyone. Um, I know there is a topic on everybody's mind, but I'm not going to talk about it today. Today is the last day of Ramadan, which is a 30-day fasting period for Muslims. Uh, there is a lot of Muslims in Allegheny County distributed all around uh, the, the county. Uh, Monroeville, Hill District, uh, Carnegie, uh, Northside, um, everywhere. Um, I'm here because I would like to invite you guys to the Eid celebration, which is tomorrow. Uh, it's uh, different depending on which mosque you're going to. I brought some uh, some material. If I would, if, can I distribute it or? There are uh, 15 uh, sheets of paper here. One for the, each can, each member that was uh, supposed to be here uh, for three different mosques. So you'll receive each, each one should receive uh, three pa uh, pieces of paper. Um, come out. Enjoy uh, seeing the uh, different Muslims in the, in the county. It's going to be a really nice um, celebration. Kids will play. Uh, people will pray. Um, I get to eat in the morning, drink coffee. So uh, it's going to be uh, fun for me at least. Uh, so, um, it's also a, uh, a good insight to what Muslims do. and. Uh, uh, the diversity the Muslim community has. You'll see people from Africa, from Asia, from Europe, from South America. Um, it's it's it, honestly uh, something that most people haven't seen in one place uh, before. So if you have the time, I know you guys are all busy, um, but if you have the time to stop by, uh, uh, look at the celebration, uh, you're more, welcome, more than welcome to join. Um, hopefully it doesn't rain. Uh, if it rains, it's going to be, uh, the celebration is going to be held in the mosques themselves at different times. Um, 
I really hope it doesn't rain because uh, the, the plan for my two daughters is to go play, bounce houses and what's not, see other kids. Um, again, uh, you're more, more than welcome to join and uh, I hope to see you all out there. Thank you. Next up is Regis Ryan. Ahmed Arafat. Carol O'Hare. Taiwan LaRue. Hello, everyone. I'm Taiwan LaRue, a political organizer with 1PA. And I'm here to deliver nearly 2,000 petition signatures we've collected recently demanding accountability from County Councilman Sam DeMarco for his role in the 2020 election as a fake elector. The legal attempt to overthrow the results of the 2020 election remains one of the darkest moments in the history of our democracy. We condemn the actions of violent insurrectionists and fake electors who tried to silence our votes and our voices. Unfortunately, we must confront the unsettling reality that some officials who attempted to commit election fraud still have not been held accountable. Sam DeMarco served as a fake elector in Pennsylvania, signed a fraudulent electoral vote certificates in an attempt to overturn the presidential election. He currently serves as a member of the Allegheny County Council and disturbingly the Elections Board. It is deeply troubling that DeMarco, who actively participated in undermining our dem dem democratic process, continues to hold public office in Pennsylvania. In fact, he is the only fake elector in Pennsylvania who still holds official power to oversee elections. We cannot allow this to stand. DeMarco's actions are a clear violation of public trust and show that he is a threat to our democratic system. We demand San DeMarco steps down from his roles on the Allegheny County Council and Elections Board. Thank you. Next up is Jacob Poole. Good evening, I'm Jake Poole. Previous name is Zoltan Jolt Levin Tayakob. I'm from Eastern Europe originally, and I'm here because I'm gonna give voice to child trafficking in the greater Pittsburgh area. I've given out nearly 50,000 fly, uh, 50, copies of these flyers that I'm, everybody I've seen already, and uh, it's because I was part of a child slave shipment to the greater Pittsburgh area from Eastern Europe in the late 80s and 90s, where when hundreds, hundreds of thousands of children were all gathered up and put in a facility disconnect from our, from our families. Um, the Pittsburgh Heinz and Ligonier Bethlehem organizations using church networks because they just wanted to bring us here. And they wanted to bring children here with the names Zoltan, Jolt, Levin, to Jakob, to the greater Pittsburgh area. And I, since I've been here, I've been passed to University of Pittsburgh, Carnegie Mellon, Carnegie Mellon facilities, PNC Bank, Giant Eagle, National Energy Lab, because my name, Jolt, Zoltan, Jakob, was plastered all over the place. And I was literally disconnected from people in Eastern Europe over years of militarized things, paramilitary groups, disconnecting us from community, communities making children. It was literally a child slave breeding facility for thousands and thousands of us to make us, to bring us here. And I, since then, I've been passed through Ligonier Valley High School to the University of Pittsburgh, PNC Bank, Giant Eagle, National Energy Lab, Carnegie Mellon stuff. Like, every place where you could plaster Zoltan Jolt, Levante Jakob, and I've been. I have, I'm alone, I have scars over my body from strange surgeries I have no medical records for because I'm a child slave traded here. I'm in, ten, I'm in intense pain, alone, and isolated for the rest of my life, and my outcome is no better than for a slave that was slave bred in the 1800s. And that is the entire, that's, how, that's gonna be my life. It'll be nothing else. I have no friends, no family, I can't go anywhere. I'm not welcome anywhere. People play games with me all over the Pittsburgh area, kicking me out of places. I show up to have dinner or have a drink, and then people show up next to me and play games and get me booted out. Currently, I'm banned from 15 places in the Pittsburgh area just for showing up. 
just because I hand out flyers to raise awareness to child trafficking alone, people target me for slave labor, tell me I'm a lazy person because I don't work at their slave shop. After being given PhDs, applied to 3,000 jobs, nothing works for me, emails blocked, phone blocked. I exist in this vast Eastern European slave trafficking network in the greatest, greater Pittsburgh area. I run across thousands and thousands of people in the greater Pittsburgh area who are in forced labor conditions with zero voice, zero ability to even describe their life condition. They're slaves. Thank you. Last up is Elise Pinter. Uh, hi there. Um, I'm going to keep this fairly short. Uh, like my fellow commenter, I think now is not the right time to address what's on everybody's mind a lot of the time. Um, but I came here tonight to extend my very heartfelt thank you to Councilwoman Hallam and Prizio and Councilman Grisbeck for your vote on 12955-24 uh, for uh, immediate uh, ceasefire in Gaza and a release of all hostages. Um, your vote for peace and an end to the ongoing violence truly means more to more people than you know or could imagine. So thank you very, very much. Um, and secondly, um, I just wanted to address um, that we heard a couple of racist remarks at the March 5th meeting. You may not understand the gravity of the remarks that you made and the underlying racism, so I wanted to call it to your attention so history doesn't continue to repeat, if you remember those two fairly large outbursts at the end of the meeting. Um, I know it was a very, very high emotion meeting, and I thank you all for sitting through it and hearing us all. But um, you're supposed to be the best of us, and some of those two sentiments we heard that caused the room to erupt, those are sentiments that continue to cause division um, between people and between our governing bodies and our representative bodies. So I just wanted to come and ask um, that you seek to understand why those remarks were received the way that they were. Thank you so much again, and have a good night. Thank you.